Netflix has been killing it lately. We just got a better version of Light Yagami and Squid Game than the actual Death Note movie made by Netflix in 2017. Okay. Relax, Light. You're asleep. You're asleep and you're dreaming of some eight foot tall demon looking motherfucker. Yeah, they've come a long way and they just put out another banger with Jake Gyllenhaal called The Guilty. I'm not gonna give everything away, but this is gonna be a spoiler review, so you've been warned. Right off the bat, I just wanna say that this movie isn't very action packed. It essentially takes place in a single room, with Jake Gyllenhaal being the sole person in that room, but that doesn't mean this movie isn't exciting. In fact, it does a really great job of creating tension and being suspenseful through subtle creative ways, which we'll get into later. If you see my first video, it's pretty obvious that I'm a fan of Jake Gyllenhaal's work, and I think he did a great job with this movie too. I mean, his performance really is what carried the film. The whole movie is shot very personal and close up, so it really focuses on the character's emotions above all else. The main character is a former police officer named Joe Baylor. He has just recently been suspended off of the police force and the movie keeps us in the dark as to why he's been suspended but they give us small hints throughout the movie until they finally reveal it at the end. He's currently working as a 911 phone operator but he isn't very good at his job. With 911 phone operators you would think that they should just stay nuanced about people's situations and just get them the help that they need in the most efficient way possible. But with Joe he gets too personal often taking up a condescending tone with the callers and just being judgmental overall. We also know that he has some severe anger issues because throughout the movie Movie, we see him constantly snapping at people and yelling at people during tense situations and just not being able to keep his cool during conflict. He seems like a very stressed and disturbed individual with good intentions deep down. He receives a call from a woman who has seemingly been kidnapped by her husband and is now in the back of his van going down a highway. This is where the story really starts, as the rest of the movie just follows Joe's perspective as he tries to save this woman. Normally, he would just transfer the call to the police and send out a squad car to apprehend the kidnapper, but the city is currently on fire and every cop is dealing with the chaos. Knowing that this kidnapping is a time sensitive problem, Joe decides to take matters into his own hands. He starts making numerous calls to the woman's family, his cop friends, and his former chief of police. And he even ends up being on the phone with the kidnapper himself at one point. And we get the most Bill Burr, Bill Burr cameo of all time. All right, you know what, fuck this, fuck this, fuck no, no. figure it out. Hey, 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 you need to let the police come there fuck for you. you. Fuck you, forget it. Well, fuck, fuck me. You. Fuck me? Yeah, fuck you. Go to hell. I yeah, okay. fuck you! Without giving too much away, I will say that there are a lot of twists and turns in this movie. Some of them are predictable and some aren't, but once things get going, it gets very entertaining and your eyes are just glued to the screen. This movie doesn't waste your time either. It gets straight to the point pretty fast and makes it enjoyable on the way there. Despite Gyllenhaal being the only actor you see for the majority of the movie, this movie still has some heavy hitters in the supporting cast and they do a great job too. With the likes of Ethan Hawke, Paul Dano, and Riley Keough. Riley especially has a great performance as the woman who got kidnapped. We never actually get to see the woman being kidnapped or anything that follows on her side of the phone, but we get to hear it. And getting to hear it forces the audience to visualize things on their own, which sometimes can be more effective than just showing the audience things yourself. I can see how some people might not like this and find it boring, but I think it's cool and refreshing because like I said, this movie isn't very action packed. It more focuses on the character of Joe Baylor and his perspective, and there's a lot of excitement that builds through that. This movie does attempt to get a little bit more heavy at the end, and it has a message relating to Joe, and I respect where they were trying to go with it, but I think the execution could have been a little better. There's also a scene in this movie where a character walks into the room and gives a line of dialogue that relates to the theme of the movie and I thought it was a really awkwardly placed scene and that the message was way too forced and on the nose. I almost wish that at the end of the movie they didn't tell us why Joe was suspended from the force. I feel like if they left it ambiguous and let the audience come to the conclusion themselves, it would have more of an impact without being too cliche or predictable. Regardless, this movie has you on the edge of your seat and the acting is just top tier, so overall I thought it was really good. And I don't mean COVID good, I mean actually good. What I mean by that is that ever since COVID happened, the film industry has taken a huge hit and I'm not just talking about the fact that people don't go to the theater anymore. It's the fact that every movie that's been coming out lately is just so underwhelming. I'm not saying that everything that's come out since 2020 is bad, but I feel like the majority of it is. For example, Godzilla vs Kong was probably the worst movie I've seen in 2021 so far. Kong gets bitched by Godzilla like three separate times and then the human characters were unbearably annoying, but I digress. The point is, this movie is a quick and easy watch and a really quality one too. Overall, I'd give it a 7.5 out of 10. I know today's video was a quickie, but if you guys like this movie, make sure to like and subscribe for more and give me your thoughts in the comments below. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.